Hi. All right. Um, we're going to talk about a um, um, bit of the science and physiology of breathing, and I'm going to stick to only one subject, which is the cardiovascular system. Um, so, breathing techniques are good for you, you've heard it before, but how does it really work? That is the question, right? Now, um, maybe you've heard this before, but I'm a big fan of breathing techniques that contain faster breathing with a breath hold. Because in the faster breathing, we activate what we call the sympathetic nerve system, or the fight or flight, although we're completely calm, so we are safe. And then in the breath hold, we activate the parasympathetic nerve system, which is more calming and meditative state. Now, let me go, <clears throat> let me give you like a crash course in, in, in the nervous system, nervous system, it's not nerve system. So let me share my screen here, just a moment. Here it is. Okay, so this is what our nervous system looks like. Now you see on the left side, you see the central nerve system which, it, which consists of the brain and the spinal cord right that's for this story not really interesting um, we don't have a lot of evidence of what is actually happening there that is for later in time but we're focusing on the peripheral nerve system nervous system this is where um, from the spine and from the brain all these nerves go to basically every cell of our body now you can subdivide the peripheral nerve system into somatic which is I call it more like the conscious nervous system, but this is like freely translated. Yeah? This is not like true science, but the somatic is about movement. So pretty conscious, you know, like, oh, I'm not seeing right. Let me put on my reading glasses, for example, you know, whatever. And the autonomic nerve system, it's more like what I call as a matter of speech, the autonomic nervous system uh, is like the unconscious or what happens in our inner world. Now here is where it becomes interesting because the autonomic nerve system you can subdivide into the sympathetic, into the parasympathetic. Sympathetic, fight or flight, parasympathetic, calm, rest and digest. All right, <clears throat> now here is a little slide. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. And if you, you know, you want to look this later, just Google uh, difference parasympathetic, and sympathetic nervous system uh, or fight and flight and rest and digest and you will get like a zillion of these pictures so you can look at it later uh, you can subdivide you know like different things that are happening um, for example your memory becomes better in the sympathetic nervous system if you're there so if you're more activated you could say well in the parasympathetic your digestive system is up and running yeah, we need to relax, basically, to have our gut working optimally. Now, okay, I'm going to leave this right here because I want to focus on the cardiovascular system. And the cardiovascular system uh, is the, um, the system of our blood vessels and blood, basically. Now, <clears throat> let's say a Wim Hof-style breathing technique with 30 times breathing and then a breath hold. What is happening in this faster, deeper breathing, we activate the sympathetic nerve system. And then when we hold our breath, we fall into our calmness, you could say. We activate the parasympathetic nerve system. Now, um, really specified on the cardiovascular reaction, um, what is happening if we start breathing deeper and faster? Our heartbeat goes up our blood pressure goes up and the blood vessels in the gut contract but also in the skin yeah, and it moves all the way to our skeleton and our muscles simply because it literally says so the sympathetic nerve system is fight or flight you know if you either have to run for a tiger or fight a tiger your inner world, your digestive system is totally not important. So it's completely all the blood there is shut down. And uh, also from, from the skin, you know, like you don't need blood near your skin. You need it in your muscles and in your skeleton. You know, so, so you can really 
either fight or flight, like literally. So this is why people who are continuously in stress get problems with their gut. Because you're, if you're always sympathetic, like always breathing high and always in stress and, you know, like living a New York lifestyle with five jobs and you know how it goes then you get gut problems because there's not enough blood going around in your gut, right? So what is happening when we activate the sympathetic, the blood vessels in the gut contract simply because the muscles need more um, um, blood, more oxygen to perform. So the blood vessels in the arms and the legs and the brain, because you also need to think clearly, right? If you have to make a decision to protect your life basically so the blood flow to the brain to the arms and the legs increase so blood vessels dilate there but on near the skin you don't need it this is why if we become really stressed we become pale also because the blood is just sucked out away away from your skin because it has to go into your brain into your arms and into your legs yeah so this is happening in the in the faster breathing and then in the in a breath hold, you will notice the opposite is happening. And you can really feel this. And, and I'm, I want to inspire you too, to put on like an oxygen meter or, or, or measure your heartbeat. And you can see what happens for yourself because this is exactly what is happening. If you are in parasympathetic, then your heartbeat goes down. Your blood pressures, pre pressure is going down. The blood vessels in the gut widen yeah, because you're calming down. So it's time to digest, to rest and digest. So your blood goes to your core. And the blood in the arms and the legs is contracting again and in the brain. Simply because, you know, like if you're in a calm state, you don't need to be so concentrated, so focused. You don't need to perform like muscular um, activity in whatever form. So, you understand probably by, by now that the doing this faster breathing breath hold, faster breathing breath hold, and so on and so on, like, you know, four rounds a day, for example, you are training your cardiovascular system, your blood vessels, like literally, like much like um, using a way to train your biceps. You know, this is putting tension on your muscle and relaxing it again. Activating the sympathetic nervous system, it's putting tension on that. And then in the breath hold, you go into parasympathetic. Now, the funny thing is that what is happening, what I believe is happening, there's no like real physical, um, um, you know, like clinical evidence of this, or maybe there is, but I haven't found it yet. <laughs> but what is happening is that you kind of reset your um, autonomic nervous system. So if you're very sympathetic, so this means if you're like really stressed and you do this, you know, activating that and going to the breath hold and back and forth and back and forth, you will notice that after a few rounds of breathing, you are calmer. So you move from sympathetic more to in between. Well, if you just woke up and you didn't have your coffee yet and you find out that you, your coffee is finished, you can use this breathing technique to actually go from parasympathetic more to sympathetic. So this is still, you know, like a hypothesis, but a breathing technique like this might actually like reset your autonomic nervous system. And then what we get is we leave it up to our body. And if we leave it up to our body and stop thinking about it, we will probably become like really, really old in a very young way. All right. Um, it's a little bit longer than I was planning to do. I hope you liked it. Um, if you like this content, please, you know, subscribe or like the video um, because then, you know, like my videos are more found in YouTube. They become higher in the algorithm. And if you subscribe also, if you want, you can press that notification button so you can be annoyed every time I put out a video and um, you will get an email and uh, you can watch it if you like. All right, I hope this helped. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.